Moved to the gun debate more than 100 days since the Newtown tragedy. The president's call for a ban on assault weapons is going nowhere in Congress, but he's trying to save the rest of his legislation to stop gun violence with the help of billionaire in New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg. ABC's Jim Alla has more on that. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, George. He's the mayor of America's largest city and has the ear of the president on important issues like immigration and gun control. Plus, Mayor Michael Bloomberg has something many other big city mayors don't, a personal fortune he is willing to spend. Today, pouring $12 million into two commercials supporting background checks for all gun purchases. They will air in 13 key states from Arizona to Pennsylvania, where Bloomberg believes senators are on the fence. I believe in the Second Amendment, and I'll fight to protect it. But with rights come responsibilities. That's why I support comprehensive background checks. On his weekly radio show, Mayor Bloomberg says he has public support. We know the American people are with us, too. Recent polls show that 90 percent of Americans support criminal background checks for anyone purchasing a gun. A second commercial called Family tries to reassure gun owners the background checks are not aimed at the law abiding. Background checks have nothing to do with taking guns away from anyone. The NRA opposes the new legislation, and on ABC's This Week, Republican strategist Carl Rove echoed its concern. If there's one thing that scares a lot of people who believe in the Second Amendment, it's the federal government keeping a national registry of gun sales and gun purchasers and gun owners. The Senate is expected to vote on what is left of gun control legislation when it returns from recess in April. The assault weapons ban has already been dropped from the Senate package. George? Okay, Jim, thanks very much.